Okay, guys, so I just finished doing my um, haul of some Elizabeth Craft Design Tonic Studios stuff, and I was planning for Freeform Friday. I always think about it in a couple days in advance because sometimes I don't really know exactly what I want to do, and sometimes it takes planning, but um, I just remember that I had all these fun things from Elizabeth Craft Design, and I've been wanting to use this. So these are all a bunch of sets, not her, but uh, that I got on uh, clearance, and I believe a lot of these things are still on clearance. Um, but I got some of these sets purposely to use with this here. So if I have any links in the description box, there will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase any items through those links. But I remember this was on clearance, and they might still be. It's just to make like slider or spinner type cards that there's like a little something interactive on the front. I thought that might be fun. So. I'm going to pick from these sets here something and I was looking at that would be fun if these went back and forth, little kids. That uh, would be so cute because you can do it with anything as long as you have something cut out basically you're just going to stick it to the slider thing here. So this is happens to be called Sliders and Spinners, <laughs> number 1330. And then again the things can slide around here or spin if they're spinning but they'll go on the same track, whichever track you pick. And these little guys are here if you do not have the foam dots required. It looks like quarter inch foam dots, which I found mine uh, the other day after I needed them for a different project. So I have some, but uh, I think what um, the gal L's or I don't know who had presented a long time ago. This is years ago. Uh, you can cut these four out once out of just paper, whatever cardstock, and then stack them on top of each other. So you have a little thickness of cardstock and then that'll that'll work for your um, for your foam dot instead. So that's pretty smart that it comes with that. Um, and again, you know, these little guys like, oh my gosh, I in my mind I got this set for it really. So the little monkey or like the little animals. So I might use the little monkey guy. So what I'm gonna do is grab some paper that would coordinate with this and uh, whatever else I might need and we'll just get a fun card going for Freeform Friday. Okay, so I kind of have an idea what I wanna do. So I have this here, we're gonna use this in just a minute. We have our little set. I forgot to mention you also need two pennies. And as this one has seen better days, I don't even know what's stuck on this. I hardly ever have money in my purse because I just don't carry money, but I had some change, so. Um, and then this is just gonna be a standard A2 size card. So standard A2 size base, eight and a half by five and a half, and I'll score it in the center. This is just some curl, um, uh, card stuff that I got from like a mystery bag from Crafters Companion. So it's kind of thin, it's kind of odd, but it's a pearlescent cream color. This is a uh, Crafters and Paying stamping card. That's weird. Ooh, didn't cut very clean. That was on my guillotine. I've never seen that before. We'll see what happens. Um, but this is cut down to four by five and a quarter. So I'm gonna, since this is free form Friday, I'm going to go ahead and just basically make our own background paper. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry, there's some things on the floor underneath me and when I move my chair, I'm like, they're gonna fall over, but I'm trying to hold them up with my thing here. And you know, and I've heard this before in comments that I should have a clean mat or a clean surface, you know, and it's not that it's dirty. It's just like even this thing, right? My little nice Arteza um, cutting mat, it takes up this whole space. It's really nice. And um, it's it was pristine just days ago. And now it's, you know, getting hot glue on it. There's other glues. There's stains of God knows what on there. So it's just what it is. So this right here is it's an old paper pad I got from... Uh, close to my heart when I used to sell it and um, why throw this away? I mean I can recycle I'll just keep using it until until it doesn't look good. I mean you're saying like throw away the pieces of paper so yeah this is from another project. So I have this uh, pine tree water reactive dye ink and I'm going to use my uh, green magic mushroom. Uh, sometimes people ask about these I don't really you know again I did a review on them a while back and then I always say to um, you know, if you're interested, just keep watching how, you know, I'm using them because they were new to me too. So I'm just here using them and see what happens, <laughs> right? I'm not really sure what I want to do, to be honest. I'm just, I just want to put color down. Probably need to press harder on this. And then I'm going to leave it kind of modeled. So I don't really care about my blend so much, but I'll still try to make it look nice. I think what I'm going to do is take the little leaf stamp that's in the set and make like a background paper. So... And I want it to look jungly. And then I think I'm going to have our little friend, our little monkey, kind of coming down from this way. I think that might be fun. So something like this. I'm not looking for super perfect. In fact, I'll put a little couple more kind of just circles in here just to make it a little more modeled. Okay. And I'm going to use the same color, I think, 
for the actual stamps. Again, this stamp says called Jungle Cuties, and the clear stamp, and then the um, the coordinating dies. And again, with my links on Elizabeth Craft Design, I don't. Again, I can't put the links in for individual items. I can just get you there with my affiliate link from here to there, but um, I can't link to just like the individual products. Oh, are these photopolymer? Mm, no, these are just acrylic. I'm like, the first looked like it, but I can tell by the smell that they are not, and I can tell that they're just acrylic. Most of their stamps are photopolymer, so I'm kind of surprised by that. But again, these are inexpensive, especially on clearance or sale or however. Oh, and I'm so sorry, guys. I put out a video earlier today talking about you can get your 25% off extra on um, art impressions off the holiday section, which you could, but they, I guess they started seeing that people were using the code and it's a glitch, so um, they have disabled that for the <laughs> those items. But, um, oh, that's so cute. But uh, you can still get the 25% off other items, and it ends today. Uh, I guess for that one, that was just too good, right? 25% off on top of the 50%? And I know some people, you know, still got theirs because obviously if you shopped early enough, but um, that's up to you to figure it out. I'm not sure. That is so pretty. I love tone on tone type things like this. And I'm going to have them running through here. I don't really, uh, I guess I can put a leaf there. Again, we're just kind of. Uh, I don't like the way that one came out, but I can't really fix that now. Can I? Boop. Eh, okay. I probably shouldn't have tried to restamp that. Cute. Love it. If you want a little more around the edges, go a little more around the edges. This is a water reactive ink. It's basically like Kim Holtz just stress inks, like that kind of thing. Okay. Um, we do need to get him going though. Oh, look at this is cute too. Just little dots. Like that would be fun to add some more texture. Aw. I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, but this cute stuff on this set here. And that was our impressions I was talking about as far as the discount. Um, Elizabeth Craft Design right now, I'm not sure that they have an extra discount, but um, they do always have their clearance open. And they have free shipping over 25 bucks, which is really generous because that's a very kind of lowish price to get to, right? To get your free shipping. Okay. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is cut this guy out. So this has a few things. So I don't know. Maybe I should do this one. This is really cute and it's really wavy, so I thought that was kind of fun. Um, all the different cracks you can use here. I mean, there's several on here. But I'm not sure. And this one is called, again, Sliders and Spinners 1330-1330. Let me see. I guess that would be better if he came down. I'm trying to see how big he is. He's kind of a big boy. Aww. I would have to just put him in a way that he's going to be able to go down here. That might be okay. Well, okay, we'll use this one. Oh, yeah. And then I'm <laughs> using my low-tech tape, one of my friends here, she says, for like, God's sake, throw away that low-tech tape. And I'm telling you guys, it's really just scotch tape. It's Crafters Companion low-tech tape, but it will destroy my paper every once in a while. Especially like the other day, I used a marker and I guess it was probably still kind of wet under here. And it like tore through there. Um, ripped some of my stuff off. Uh, maybe I'm gonna put it a little bit lower. So I'm gonna put it mostly on here, but a little bit on the paper just to hold it. Did that even stay? No, it did not. Okay, hold on. Let's do that again. And I'm gonna get my marquee. And since this is a big piece of paper here, I'm gonna try to look for a, yeah, a newer ish folder. Like I said, sometimes when you run a whole piece of paper in a folder that's kind of well loved, it it'll it'll like pinch on the edges, and I've shown you guys what that looks like. So I'm just gonna take this one's a little bit newer and run this baby boy through, and then we need to make our little monkey or whatever care whatever is it you're gonna do. This you can do this with any stamp, okay? <laughs> this little thing. So um, so I'm gonna keep this piece though too. Because what happens when you go to put this on your card, you can have a blank behind it. And if you don't care, then that's fine. But if you want it to look nicer, um, you can put that piece of paper back behind it, okay? So let me grab some stamping paper. Of course, the one I just cut down here is... I'm going to say, oh man, what size is this? Let me find a scrap piece, because I only need a piece of it, and I don't want to waste the whole, like, good card front on that. I'll be right back. I'm talking about this is another nice big piece, so I'll put that... But this is... I can feel it. this is... 
my stamping paper. So I'll put that to the side. We'll get this. We'll get this guy stamped out. And then I'm going to color him in. Aye, aye, aye. Do we want to use watercolors? That might be fun. Oh, well, if I was going to use watercolors, I should use different paper. Huh? I'll still use this one. But watercolor paper would be nicer. Uh, let's do this. Okay, so we have that. Oh, let's use our squid ink. Actually, where's my order? Let's use the Nuvo ink since I haven't tried it yet and I want to try it. It's still sitting here next to me. So I have this blank, blank, black Nuvo hybrid ink. But I tried the squid ink and I like that too. So it worked really well. No, this is the only thing is because it's a little guy, so I'm going to pat, 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 and hopefully maybe rub it on there <laughs> just so I can make sure I hit every area. Aw. And if it doesn't work, I will turn it over and do it again. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't get every area inked up. Aw, how cute! Look at the little... He just looks... That's kind of why I want to watercolor him. He looks very... Like made out of fabric, you know what I'm saying? Like a little animal. So I will let this dry for a minute and I'll get my watercolors and we will color him in. Okay, so let's get a little closer here. I have, since I'm using my Elizabeth Crafts, I have tons of obviously watercolors from <laughs> everywhere and everything because I like to try so many different things, but I'll use the Elizabeth Craft ones just because. And I have not swatched these out and I probably should, but some of these kind of play along and see what happens. So I have a water brush here. Okay. And it comes with one. I just haven't used the one that's in here, but it looks pretty much the same. Look at that. Even the lid is basically the same. Okay. Uh, monkeys. Let me look at this. You can always get inspiration from your packaging, which is always nice. So, uh, I want a lighter brown and a darker brown. Let me see how dark this one is. Oh, that's a cute brown. Let me start with this one. Oh, that's a cute brown color. Uh, it's kind of light though, so maybe I'll go in his... Well, I like the way they did his little mouth kind of like this. So maybe I'll do this. The little red like they did. <laughs> it's a cute idea. And then maybe I'll use this in his face area. And then come in with a darker brown. Like this one. Is that even darker? Yeah. Just to give it a little different color. And so most of his body should be this darker color. And I'm going to start again. I always start wherever the shadow might be and then bring it out to where it should be lighter. And that was not very uh, graceful there. I just kind of <laughs> put that <laughs> wherever it went there. Uh, again here too. And you guys know my theory is, my color theory is just get a color down. Just get some color down. And you can always come in if you don't like like that was a little bit too dark. I can always come in, add some water, and it'll lighten up whatever area. Just going with a little bit darker. And I use that lighter brown. I'm just putting out too much water now. And I still need some of this dark brown in here. Okay. So what is he wearing? <laughs> That's so cute, the way they have him kind of in a little yellowish outfit. I do like the green and blue stripes, so I might do something like that. I'm looking for an olive green, which I don't know if this is it. I don't think so. Oh, that's a pretty green, though. Let's see this one. Ooh, that's a cute blue. Okay, let's use that for his little stripes. And I'll just alternate stripes. And I will look for a green. Hold on. Let's finish this real quick. And um, let's get some of this kind of this yellow. Looks like he's wearing a little diaper. <laughs> so cute. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit before I come in, but I'm still looking for an olive green, so maybe it's this one. Or like a deeper green, yeah, that's fine. Again, you can leave some white space if you want. Those colors are very similar. And there, and there, and there. 
And then what I'm gonna do, I left a little, couple, little bit of white space, just, you know. Um, I'll come back and dip into like, maybe this color. No, that's pink. Uh, I want like a deeper orange, maybe it's this one. Yeah, so I'll dip in here just a little bit, kind of keep that nice and pointy and just come in and dot, dot, dot into the little dots, okay? I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be right back. Oopsie. I'm going to color this green too, his little stem here. I'll do that in green. So this is drying and put it to the side here. Oh, obviously that Nouveau worked really well, did not spread or didn't do anything funky. So there you go. Again, that's from Tonic. And I will score this at four and a quarter. I guess you could have made the card long ways too. I'm still going to do it this way, but we could have done a long card, right? So it'd be 11 inches long, four and a quarter inches wide, and then scored at five and a half. So it opens this way. Then we're going to put this guy here. So I'm still debating if I want to stick this down, then eyeball the rest of that when I come to put it back. Or stick it down behind. But since we're still waiting for that little picture to dry, maybe this is... So what happens is when you come in later, we're going to need some foam tape to pop this up a little bit. Um, this piece will be here. So then I'll have to eyeball that and make sure it's right. Or, like I said, stick this down now. Or stick it down afterwards, but you're going to have to jimmy it kind of behind the these guys so however you want to do that maybe I don't mind gluing it down first we'll see what happens and that's just if you don't you know if you want to cover that up if you don't care about that then just leave it I was thinking I was gonna be like oh I'll make a shaker spinner slider <laughs> but I was like you know what since this is one of the first times I've done one of these I'll just leave it at this for now now I had mentioned, like, you know, the dies are relatively inexpensive. They're on clearance there on Elizabeth Craft. You can probably find them other places, these types of things. But um, if you're really good with an X-Acto knife, I don't see why you couldn't just cut a channel on your paper. It wouldn't be something like this unless you're super, super good at it. But, like, if you did the straight one, you know, it's like a, about a quarter inch opening. So I would, you know, you just get your X-Acto and get that going. Okay, so let's leave that alone for now. And then this is going to pop on top of there and then when I lay it down with the really eyeball it to make sure it's right over it right is this guy dry enough yet we'll pretend he's ready to go either way all right then we'll get this and we're almost done I think I hope you guys are all doing well I am finally getting some of that fall weather you guys have been getting only thing is it gets cold at night in the 50s and then it's still 80 something degrees and like Santa Ana wind blowing <laughs> are like warm and it feels gross. And then it's going to go back to the 90s in a couple days again. Yay! All right. So if you don't want to eyeball this, you can definitely cut yourself an aperture, which means just run this through a scrap piece of paper with a piece of tape. So then you can open it up like this. Your paper will still be there, right? And then you eyeball where that is and then lay down your die so you see it really nicely. Um, but for now, I'm just going to cut it and live with whatever happens. So I'm just looking at this. It does leave some edge, so you do have some room to play, even if you're not quite right. That looks pretty good. Oh, don't move. Okay. The last thing is when you pick up your hand and then it moves, you're like, ah! <laughs> so let me put that down. Again, mostly on the paper, a little bit on my drawing, because I don't want it to move. But I also don't want it to get messed up. And now with something like this that's a little bit smaller, I can use a well-loved folder. So I'm going to cut this guy out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. I hope you can see what I mean. See how it's kind of buckled here? That's why you always use a newer one. If it's something I want to keep, like, let's see how it's really pinched there, the paper. So. Oh, careful, careful, careful <laughs> to not pull off my color. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. So I was a little bit off up here, but not too bad. Okay, so what we need to do with this little dude is we're going to stick him here, and he's hopefully going to slide. Now, this is another thing you have to decide. Do you want it just to slide, or do you want it to spin and slide? So it's hard for me to show you the difference because I'm going to have to rip it open. So these are really tiny dots. I don't know where I got these. They're probably EK Success because they're super old. They might even be Diamond Press. Diamond Press used to make uh, stuff like this, but they don't anymore. So I, I don't know. You know, I just have them here sitting here and they're not in packaging. But these are like quarter inch um, pop dots, basically, or dimensionals. 
Now, the reason I said I can't really, I kind of have to commit. Like if I'm putting this in the center, that's so that he can spin and move. If you don't want him to spin, if you just want him to slide down, you would put two. Okay, so right now I'm gonna put one in the center. But if you just wanted your boy to, um, to just slide, you would put one and two. You know what I'm saying? Move this one over so that it has more stability, right? There's something more that's just gonna guide it instead of letting it do whatever. Uh, another thing, um, well, I guess that's it, actually. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, if you don't have these, again, the kit, this kit, has the four little dots and you can cut out all at once. And if you use really sturdy cardstock, you just glue them all together and then glue them on, right? You're gonna have to glue them to your um, pennies. So that's gonna stick on there. And as you see, the penny moves, the penny's turning as it goes. So if you had the two, it would just keep it smoother. But I think this is gonna be really fun, oh my gosh. Um, before we get too carried away, before I stick him on here, I'm going to stick this to this. So you need some space, obviously you need some, some up. Now, you don't have to stick this down with uh, dimensional adhesives that are like the foam roll type like this, because honestly you just need it to be up off of here. So if you had little round ones, you know, you can stick a couple. I'm gonna go ahead and use this stuff. But uh, again, it's not that important. And, and actually, I don't even have to use the whole strip. You can just kind of do some. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a shaker card, but. And why am I snipping each one? I don't know. Normally, I just go like this and then I turn it. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's not get too close to where the penny might be. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because then the penny hits here. If that was real close, it wouldn't uh, let it do the full extension of that. How fun! This is going to be adorable. Okay. And then, you know, you have sentiments or whatever it is that you want to do. You know, you can cut one of those out. Again, I have to be careful when I go to stick this down because I have to pay attention to where I put it. I suppose if you if you have a really big card, let's say you put this on a 5x7, you might want to reinforce a little more with um, foam, right? Because the paper's gonna be a lot bigger and this is just gonna be kind of out there. So I would get the foam a little bit closer. But again, clearing the, the channel. Is that? Okay, we're good. All right, this is the moment of truth that I was telling you. So this, I'm matching it up, but you could have put this down with your foam and then, and then squished it down. Like I'm probably a little too up on that one, but that's okay. Okay, guys, hold on. Oh, the other thing is, I don't know if this foam is thick enough. Uh, eh, I think we'll be okay. So, <laughs> pay attention to the thickness of the foams. This is still sticking up a little bit, and this one's a little bit flatter. I probably should have put double foam. It seems like it'll be okay. But, but, just remember that. Okay, and then this little guy is going to go on there. Oh, my gosh. I love him. Um, I don't know... We want him to stick really well after a while. So I'm going to use a 3D glue gel. I think Cola, like this kind of glue would be really well. Maybe a tacky glue would do it. I, I just want to make sure he doesn't fall off after a while, right? Because he's metal to paper. So I'm going to put a good amount of that on there. <laughs> and hopefully that'll work. Pretty sure. Um, which one else? Uh, Beacons 3-in-1. That's a good one that can adhere metals to paper stuff like that oh my gosh i'm so scared because <laughs> i don't know okay let's put him on here i just want him to be on there i don't care about the 3dness of it i need him just to be on there ah i'm so scared <laughs> i should i should let him uh dry a little bit before we keep moving him look at that that's so cute Okay, so that is very uh, free and fun, and he'll just keep spinning. Like, I'm not going to spin him right now, but when I go to put him in the card, I definitely would make sure he's oriented this way. That way he's not, you know, sticking up at the top. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there was a full spin. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> okay, sometimes he just goes, and sometimes he has a full spin. That is so funny, and I guess really if I wanted to, I could orient it this way too, which would be kind of odd, but there he goes. Okay, I'm going to wait for him to dry. Uh, I think the... There you go. All right. That's all I'm going to do. But if you have a sentiment, you know, you can still put it here. I would put it flat, like whatever it is. And maybe I'll... Oh, you know what? Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I will... 
You guys, this is Freeform Friday, right? It's all free-flowing, just whatever. <laughs> um, in my Jane Davenport binder, if you guys haven't gotten these for five bucks in the Spellbinder sale, and if they're still available, I would say get them. I have like all kinds of things in here. This is all my Elizabeth Craft stuff. But, oh, I do want to show you that they fit perfectly, your stamp sets. They fit in here like without cutting them down or anything like I had to do for the actual Jane Davenport ones, I had to cut them down. But um, I have a set in here that is uh, for those guys. Is this one? Yes. Look. Welcome to the jungle. Uh, swing by sometime. Oh, is that not? Okay. Let me see. What fits here? Swing by sometime. What I'm going to do is stamp this. Okay, what I'm going to have to do is take this extra piece of paper that's here. I'm going to um, color it just like we did this paper. And I'll be right back, okay? So all I'm going to do is just model it a little bit with the green and I'll be right back. Let's see about this. But, okay, so I'm going to take this. What I'm trying to see is it might be a little too long for it to go across here. Oh, no, well. Because I was thinking about backing it up with some of the cream colored paper. So there's a little bit I want to do to it, but. And then I was thinking about cutting it up in pieces, how I like to do. So I have my swing by some time here. Get this. I'm going to stamp off a couple times. Oh, that looks good already. Only because, again, it's an acrylic stamp and um, it can look a little like that, <laughs> right? Because the ink is dye ink, it repels off of the acrylic and all that. But Okay. So let me cut this down a little bit because it's a little bit bigger than I want. And I was thinking about making it artsy, but and what I mean by that is cutting it into little pieces and you can put swing by some time. But let me see. I think that would be more fun. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to do that. And again, if your words are too close together, just stamp it a few times and then give each word a little extra. You know, whatever word didn't get extra the first time you did it, cut it down. Give the next piece a little extra. So I'm going to do something like this. And then I'm going to stick them and glue them on here. Right, glue it down and then cut around that too. All right, I'll be back. So again, I used to just put glue on the back of my little pieces. I used to use the tacky glue that was in this bottle, and that's how I stick those down. Um, all right, so we have swing by some time, or however you want to do it. If you want to swing by, you know, whatever, <laughs> however you want to, or even over here, huh? Hmm. Oh, that might be fun. Just to put it all over the... Oops, sorry, I was kind of out of the frame there. That will be fun. Let's do that. And again, keep them flat. I'm not putting any dimensional or anything because you don't want them to be in the way of your friends swinging by. Let's see here. Oh, and I guess this is a sentiment for a different... For another day. <laughs> Swing by sometime. Swing by sometime. Stay outside. All right, hold on. Let's see here. Uh, do, do, do. I'm going to put that one straight, just because I cut it kind of funky. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't make it, like, perfect um, on all of them, so I thought it was kind of fun. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that is too cute. So sometimes he's sliding anyway. Sometimes he's spinning. You know, so he just slid in that one, and sometimes he makes a full spin. I guess it depends on how I hold it. If I'm holding it more like this, he's kind of... Well, right now he's not doing anything. But <laughs> there you go. Aww. There he goes, there he goes. I wonder if it has to do, there you go, uh, if it has to do with how you're holding the card itself. Anyway, all right guys, thanks for watching. I hope you're all doing well. I'll have the links in the description box, again, along with just the names of the products I used here. And um, I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.